Joseph here from Makeup. So, looking at the uh, ASX so far this morning, we are seeing some buying. Uh, it's roughly around uh, two percent high on the ASX 200 CFD market. Uh, we did see U.S. markets hit lows and uh, moves not seen since the 1987 crash overnight with uh, very strong falls. Again, uh, we saw limit down on futures, and uh, we just have a quick look at the U.S. 30, and we can see that fall yesterday. So. Uh, some more big uh, moves due to uh, more negative updates coming out of America. Uh, President Trump commented that the uh, economy might be heading to recession, and there were uh, three thousand over three thousand cases of coronavirus picked up yesterday. And we're just going to have a look at quickly some of the markets. Um, to the USD overnight, we've seen uh, further falls. The Australian dollars moved back to. Uh, just over 60, uh, just under 61 cents this morning, and uh, the euro finished higher overnight, but we're seeing some falls, uh, some weakness today. Um, we still are in a uh, medium term uptrend, and that was a pretty decent bullish buy yesterday, but we did have a bit of a fade off the top. If we do see a move back above. Um, 11.81. Uh, we could see a new test at a high, but at the moment we have to wait for buyers to kick back in. Um, could also be a lower high. Um, I'm not trying to give any type of uh, trade ideas at all whatsoever, but yeah, definitely at the moment uh, the euro, euro to the dollar USD does seem to be standing forward a little bit stronger than the other pairs at the moment. Uh, the pound gave, did finish higher but gave back a very strong rally so it finished the uh, session 1.21% lower and it is buying off uh, morning lows so far. Now over on to the yen we saw another move down from the USD to the yen and this was uh, across the board nearly so some buying this morning but another new monthly low and a very strong low put in before uh, a fade sorry a buyback from buyers late into the session and the euro did finish lower to the yen um, it had a very wide range yesterday um, after a lot of movement so we're, sitting, you know, we're talking about 2.35 percent and the Aussie finished lower again touching new monthly lows going below the uh, that flush cash low we saw the uh, other week. So I think the onus now is just on how if we will see a bit of a recovery early come in. Uh, it's a bit early to call that just yet, but uh, well, it is starting to see some signs of slowdown on metals. So gold in particular, after being absolutely uh, hammered yesterday, trading down 8% at one stage during the day, did pull back a fair bit of those losses and we are seeing a bit of a hold and buyers are trying to hold again but it's very early at this piece in the point uh, sorry this point in the piece and for now we are seeing some short-term support from around that 1506 point I want to talk about uh, platinum quickly uh, platinum has been absolutely savaged uh, last night we did see a pullback but at one stage you know sellers had the market down 19 percent before we did see a bit of a uh, pullback off the bottom but um, some incredible numbers on platinum just in how much has fallen. So, in three sessions, we saw you know a drop of about uh, 28% before that last night's uh, pullback. So, I think uh, markets will be just continuing to watch uh, what's happening globally with coronavirus and how uh, different governments and countries are dealing with it. Um, we do have the uh, EU Economic Summit today, and 11.30 we have the RBA meeting minutes coming out, and then later tonight we have, uh, just a quick check on that, retail sales data coming out in the US at, uh, into um, late into the European session, early in the US session. So, But I think data aside, markets will just continue to uh, watch the ongoing main influence at the moment, which currently is the coronavirus. So. Um, until tomorrow, have a fantastic day and uh, all the best and bye for now.